What up, guys? What up, guys? We're back with some more Walking Dead. I can't believe he just smacked the shit out of that girl, though. Stay gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. You'd be, you'd be on the ground, too, if you got slapped like that. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. It was cold. Well, you got them skinny arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I was Look at you, man. You're skinny as shit, too. Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving, too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive. Yeah, he killed my friends, man. I don't... That's just a fact. He killed Walter and Alvin. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Alvin killed George when he escaped. He might not have meant to, but George died all the same. Ain't no saints in all this. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Oh, I got myself a coat now. Keep it warm. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. She doesn't seem too bad. She's pretty much just following orders. Follow me. Come on. Oh, damn, I got a nice little greenhouse on the roof. Damn, they got solar panels everywhere, too. Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. <laughs> hey. 
Hey. Are you okay? I know it's, it's gotta be hard. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Oh, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? She's still in shock, man. Down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Hey. Here, watch me. I know you're still scared, Sarah. You're like in shock still, man, but you don't work, man. They might. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just. Might have more problems coming your way. End the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm, Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We Time's just... up, Reggie. You had a task, and you didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. What's wrong, Sarah? Hey, what is she doing? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, no! 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 
please. Ah! Holy sh... Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Dude, this guy is a straight dickhead. I've got some stuff for you to do. Go. Dude, I did not expect him to like I thought he was going to like smack him around a little bit. I didn't expect to kill for him to kill him, dude. Poor Reggie, man. Oh, hey. So they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion. Real simple. Just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You all right? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. Dude, I would not have him as a leader. That guy's a psycho, man. I can understand, like, trying to make a community and trying to be tough, but that's, like, pushing it to the limit, dude. Like... Hey, Troy, Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Oh, it's like a little mini mall. I didn't even notice until now. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get me. the work done, and... <laughs> shit! Fuck it! Grab something! Oh, shit. Head with the board, man! Head with the board! Oh shit. Slide under, slide under, man, hide. There you go. Keep running, man, keep running. We got this, we got this. Oh shit. Oh! That was sick! Oh. Oh, there you go. Close the door, close the door. Oh, there you go. Jam that shit through his mouth. Come on, come on. There you go. Mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip?
Damn, dude. That's a little too close. This way, this is this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I have ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. He said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free. I have to go. Troy will be looking for me. Uh, what? Troy, he's expecting me back. Oh. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, I know, man. She said drop the nails off and get right back. We just, we just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke? Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart. Okay, we, we gotta yeah, I'm not sure if I can get a radio without them noticing, man. Like that'd be kind of risky. About that stuff. Well, you gotta try, Clem. Okay? It's really important that I get one of those. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Oh, damn, she took off. Gotta go, gotta go right now. You better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So you should probably go. Rebecca. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. What you want, scumbag? You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. 
Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Do you understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep quiet on this one. Yeah. You there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Shit, with all these supplies, man, he should better make some good a good dinner, I would think. Wonder where Sarah is. Oh, okay, there she is. That's why I haven't seen her since the roof. Place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us, and that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. 
Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, you rub the walker guts all over you. But I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Whoa, what's up with the voices, dude? Okay, there you go. Don't let go. I got you. They're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. Yeah, I'm kind of worried that that little break, that little brace up there is gonna break, man. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Grab something. What? Yo, grab the ladder, man. Oh, damn. Oh. Damn, look at all them zombies. The herd is coming. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.